All right, hey, it's Warner Crocker at GottaBeMobile.com with the GottaBeMobile.com shortcut. We're going to be talking about glove tips. Uh, it's a, you know, cold weather. You want to be able to use your touch screens. i got various touch screens here in cold weather with gloves. We've already looked at a couple other different kind of glove solutions for that. Um, we're going to take a look at glove tips. Now you can see here, there's a tip. And there's the tip already attached to these gloves. The good folks who make glove tips sent these along. Now what they do is they send you a pair of gloves. And they send you a kit that contains three of these tips. I'm not sure if you can see the thread here or not. Hopefully you can. Um, and there's the, the tip that works with the capacitive screen. On the back of it there's an adhesive. And they also send you this like harpoon-like needle. Okay, yeah, this is going to require some assembly. Oh, pretty scary uh, as far as that's concerned. And something to do some th to thread the needle with. And here's basically how this works. I'm not going to do this for you because trust me, you got to really love to assemble things and put things together to make this work for yourself. And guys, I'm just not that good at it. You take the needle. You find a place on your glove where you think you're going to be touching the screen. You take the needle, you insert it up inside the glove, you puncture a hole through. Then you thread the needle with this little thing here. You stick it through the needle, thread through that, pull it through, pull this contraption all the way down, get it where you want, and then you take the adhesive off and attach it to the tip of the glove. Alright, sounds easy enough, but you need this capacitive piece of fabric here as well, and once you get the thread hanging out the bottom in here like this you tie it off to this capacitive piece of fabric stuff that down inside the glove so that's on your hand there and then theoretically you're able to touch the screen <coughs> make some things work well it looks like it's working pretty well here on that here it is with the iPhone uh, you can see I haven't quite got the hang of it as easy with that there. I want to open up something there. Um, you know, this isn't a delicate kind of thing, if you ask me. Let's take a look at it on the iPad. See how that works. Right here. Yeah. See, I don't know if it's... I just don't have it on right. Let's try with the thumb what the deal is here but uh, the iPad it's not quite as working as well as it is interestingly enough here Ooh, don't want to knock that over on the Tega interesting so you know I imagine the screen has something to do with it there as well so anyway glove tips if you're a do-it-yourself kind of person that might work for you um, I'm not going to say good or bad because I have a feeling this a lot depends on the glove that you use a lot depends on your ability to find just the right placement of what's going on here with these tips and pull it through and obviously you know since we're seeing that it works pretty well here on this device obviously a well, lot depends on your device too because I'm not having any luck dealing with it here on the iPad so, that's Warner Crocker with the GottaBeMobile.com shortcut, taking a look at glove tips. Bye-bye.